We learned the mantra, surrender, trust, accept, and receive from a counselor that we were learning to meditate through. And she was part of our spiritual practice resource person that we went to in our 20s. And we we're very blessed to know um, somebody who was just so resourceful. And surrender, trust, accept, and receive just seemed to always come up to us over and over and over again in our lives. Just something that we'd always say, if it's, we'd ask ourselves one question, if it's something that you can change, then change it. And if you can't, then surrender and open to what you cannot change. And it's really kind of the basis of the serenity prayer, really. And something that really worked for us over and over and over again. So it's no wonder that that mantra came to me like a life preserver in stormy seas of my grief. I mean, it just came to me. And I just kept noticing that I kept saying to myself over and over, surrender to this, surrender to this surrender to these feelings, surrender to this grief. And surrender and trust really go together. Like surrender is like the container. It was the container for my grief. It was a way for me to open to the experience, to realize that opening to it was going to make it um, probably happen faster than resisting it. And I related my experience of giving birth to my children by surrendering to that. When I was in labor, I remember just saying over and over to myself, surrender, trust, and accept. And so surrender and trust really go together. Trust is a little bit harder to define as far as how to do it because it's such an individual thing. Trust is really based on how much faith and trust you have. In, in your life in general. Like, like I think for me, even though my belief system had faltered um, when Richard passed somewhat, my faith was different. But what I knew was that life did not miss a beat and life was gonna go on no matter what. And I began to trust in that. And I began to trust in the fact that Richard and I loved each other so completely and we were so devoted to each other and I just, could feel his love throughout my entire grief process and I began to trust in that. And I trusted that life and love would lead me as I surrendered and opened to the experience of grief. 